I feel like you mugged King Clancy for that sweater, and like you, he, you haven't been caught for your crimes. But that thing, I'm not at liberty to say. But like it was King Clancy, right? Yeah, you're talking to the right right person. I actually want to get one of you. They did a memorial game uh, before he while well, he was alive, obviously. But he, they they did a special game for King Clancy where they all wear green sweaters, and he didn't wear a number; he wore a shamrock on the back. That's something I need to make someday. I see. But you're wanted by Interpol, correct, for this? So they have no jurisdiction International here. crime. Next on Ugly Thirds. Welcome back, sports fans, to another episode of Ugly Thirds. Today's topic will be... Toronto Maple Leafs, worst three jerseys. John and Shrems, take it away. I like that subtle moment of anticipation. It really makes you want it more. <laughs> so, I mean, look, I avoided Toronto for a very long time, and I feel like I was very wrong to do so. It's a gorgeous look, year over year. Yeah, yeah. The the slight iterations, uh, most recent iterations, rather, there have been some misses, but for the most part, they're not bad. No, I, I mean, you know, whereas the you know, original six, Chicago and, and, and Detroit really haven't changed much since, you know, the early days. Uh, and then, you know, Boston's changed a bunch of times. I think Toronto has, has done a lot with just blue and white that it deserves credit for. Sure, let's but do it. this is not that video. No, no, no. no. This I'm is the not. opposite. This yeah. is when did they have those misses. And it starts with this joke. Phil, when they wear this? Uh, that was the 2022 Heritage Classic jersey. Now, Shrems is getting out his eagle eye because of a subtlety here. Phil, jersey camera. I, fe I making feel you from the, the fabric side. being different. It, no, that doesn't even help <laughs> at all. You can't How tell. embarrassing. Wow. Well. Well. T for Toronto what, Maple I, what, what does it help? If no, I stop, stop, like stop. I got it. I got it. Stop. You got it? You? Yeah. What if I what if I do this? Oh. Can you stop? Yeah, no, it does work. It does work with a flashlight. It says arenas there because that was Toronto's original name. They were the Toronto Arenas for the first three seasons. Yeah. Um but there's there's nothing here. There's just nothing it and even the original, it look in NHL uniforms is not infallible, but they even have blue cup cups at the end of theirs for that original first year in the NHL look. Without taking this above the table, this is just a blue sweater. There's a there's a, a white hem stripe yep. and uh, a T, but that's literally it. Would this have been better if you would have swapped the one from 2017, 2018? With all the stripes on it? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, well, yeah. Now, that wouldn't have been, like, accurate, but what's it matter? It's a heritage. Like, Buffalo sure. made something up out of whole cloth oh, for that. For sure. So, like, why not? It just... I can't believe that Phil paid money for this. Didn't you buy one of these two? This is yes. The one against Buffalo? Yes. Yeah, I you're did. both suckers. But for the price that I got it, I'm not upset. What I'm upset about is why not do like a white outline here so you can see. Well, I mean, because the original didn't have any, it was just a T and good. white and white cuffs, and that's it. So, I don't even know if it had a collar, if I'm being honest. This completely detracts from. If it were just the T, fantastic. But why the arenas in there? I, I think that... Why, and why do it the same color as the fabric? I think it was something just to try and like feel like, oh, I actually bought something more than a practice jersey. I kind of wish... I wish I could just find a blank blue jersey and put a T on it and be like, look, I have my Heritage Classic jersey. Like, this is a scam. This is a scam jersey. Yeah, low um, effort. It, low it, effort. It's at, like, I just... I can't believe in the modern age they're charging full price for this. At least Buffalo did the cream, and they did it up right. Like they yeah, yeah, it was something interesting. This is look. This might be historically accurate, except for arenas on. Like okay, they were the Toronto Rays at the time. They didn't like it was just a T for that first year. Yeah, like, but this was this was one hundred and eighty at retail, mm. two thirty in Adidas. Mm. Like, what? The stitching is nice on yeah, the inside nice here, and but, for fanatics, it's nice to include that. Yeah, the, but, the you know the. What, what bugs me is the arenas. Like, why why even bother? Like, just keep it the T. Yeah, the T. 
So uh, the second of two scam jerseys. I'm gonna put Ooh, this front, front and center. Scandalous. What's wrong with this one? There's nothing here. <laughs> Ooh. Well, when they were this? 2007 to 2010. This was the uh, start of the Reebok why. edge. Uh, and when hemline stripes all went away because allegedly Reebok was going to make every team uh, tuck in their jerseys till the players revolted and said no. Um, and it, it like it's it's three stripes. It's stripe, stripe, and then little little stripe that would be cut off by the glove. Uh, and that's it. Now, I, I bought one of these because, you know, where I work, there's a lot of whiteouts for school. And this, I mean, how do you, how do you fill the, the, the bill more and wear a jersey? Yeah. Um, and uh, I even I was shocked by just how little was on this. How boring is this jersey? I, I mean, I, I people paid full retail for this. Can you believe it? And there's just nothing. It like like I, I someone bought me a Toronto like like long sleeve shirt, one of those vintage shirts. Yeah. It has more than this does. <laughs> I I mean, what an absolute waste. But and it, it's got it's got all the piping in here that you could do accent blues mm -hmm. and, and things like that. Lack of a shoulder patch, like they just just nothing, nothing. They were late to the assignment, and that's what we got. Yeah, yeah. seriously. But it's not the worst. This is a whole different kind of scam. Uh, yeah. I I, I can't I, believe we one of these is owned here, but here we are. Yeah, right. Phil again stepping up to the the how why would you do this place? So when they wear this? Um, 2021 to the present. This is a, a their third jersey. Uh, I think it's still their third. I have heard nothing new. Um, but it's not just that it's black because, okay, black is not a Toronto Maple Leafs color. And black and blue is still, like, blavy is still a, a crime against humanity as far as I'm concerned. I don't care what the kids say. What all, all right? The young black, Turks are doing these days. Navy and black is never okay. Why, why do I hate this so much, Rems? Because you're not looking at the side that you hate. Well, there's that. Well, no, nor is it the numbers that are are faded in there. You know, you've got it all wrong. The hatred's on the inside. Where it really <laughs> What are you doing? My goodness gracious! Why, Joe, why would we ever do something earth? like this? Is something we, that, that should be like Great an off camera thing. Googly moogly. And now what on earth things. is this? Here you go. I oh that is that is really sticky rubber like wow I remember you saying this but I didn't realize like wow like it, it, what and it's it's okay okay it's an Easter egg it's hidden inside no one ever has to see it except they did totally turn them inside out at the one point for the the three star selection who designed this this would be the Justin Bieber Justin Bieber yep first off I didn't realize he was still relevant I YouTube figured. no he's a YouTube sensation I uh. Like us, to a lesser extent. <laughs> right, right. So definitely the same same thing. Yeah. No, I mean, you had a celebrity come in and design a jersey for one of the most storied franchises in North America. Mm -hmm. Not just the United, like mm -hmm. the continent. Mm -hmm. One of the biggest, most storied, but the, the one of the wealthier. They, I mean, they make money hand over fist. They support half the league. Who are we not kidding? And they had a celebrity influence this look. What? Yeah. I mean, it's it's on on principle that that it, it, and it's not like oh this was a good look they got adopted they didn't find some local producer who made an idea and they're like we'd like to buy that and use that and make it like Ottawa did that with the barber pole like that was a fan design this was bring in a celebrity and make a thing and it's just so disgusting that Toronto the Toronto Maple Leafs would bring in a celebrity to try and gain some cheap points. And have a, a weird, a, a different fan base than their usual hockey one come and buy this jersey. It's it's not just the fact that it's this. It's two-sided. Like, it's not any better on the inside. But, like, my biggest beef with this part of the jersey, what on earth is this? Oh, what, you want to get jersey cam on that? But, like... It's like he grabbed one of those magic oh. eight balls, and he's like, oh, yeah, we need to do that in the sleeve. And the Toronto Skyline's there, which you can get see far out. better on you, camera than in you, person. You shut your mouth when you're talking to me. Hold on. Let me get the light right. Any day now. I'm, You'll figure it out. I there believe it is. in you. Oh, yeah, there's the CN Tower right there. Yeah, like, like you really can't see it in person. Like, you're staring at it. It's not really... 
it's really hard to see, but on why, camera, that kind of pops, actually. Why would you not do something like this in white? Like, make it stand out. Don't don't blend it in with black. Ah! Yeah, I mean, aesthetically, it's trash. Ideologically, it's trash. I can't believe you get a celebrity influencer to design a, a, a jersey for the most storied franchise in North America. Like, how? How is that a thing? That upset, like, like, you know, are, are more sports teams they just just cheap points? You know, yes. hire hire some singer to do all their, you know, why not Green Bay and Pittsburgh and all the, you know, why? Just think of the the big the Chicago Bulls now, you know, made by some YouTuber. Like, why? No, no, it's not okay. Bad. No, it's not okay. Put their nose in it. I, I think I just did. <laughs> and so he's Shrems. I'm John Phil. Take us out. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and tune in for another episode of Ugly Thirds. Maybe no. Maybe we should.